So this is going to be a quick uh, tutorial on how to do a text reveal without using a shape layer, meaning we're going to use a mask instead. So I'm going to come over here and create a new composition. So I'm going to pick a new comp, in this case, 1920 by 1080 HDTV, 29.97 is all good. Duration 10 seconds. We can go ahead and probably cut that down to five. And I'll leave the background color black and we'll click OK. So the first thing we want to do is come in and add some text. Again, don't worry about where you put your mouse at this point because we're going to align this text. So all we have to do is select it, come over to our align window and press the two middle buttons and there's our text. Now we're going to need a little cursor to uh, create our bar that wipes. And so we need to click off the text. I've got it set to no fill, stroke of 18 pixels. And I'm just going to kind of roughly create this little cursor. I'm going to make it just a little taller than the text. So I'll go ahead and hit the V key for my selection tool and nudge it down. That looks about good to me. If we zoom in, we can see a little better. Okay, perfect. All right, so that's going to move left to right across my text. I'm going to go ahead and animate that right now. So before I hit the stopwatch, I'm going to make sure that the playhead is where I want this to start animating. And for me, I'm going to go ahead and set it to one second, because that way I can make this grow on from nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and put my first keyframe at one second. I'll drag the playhead over to three seconds, and then I will create the animation by holding down the shift key and just using the arrows to move it. Um, and right there looks good. I got it about a letter past the last letter. And if you look at the beginning, it's about a letter before, maybe a little bit bigger. And so if I decide that this first part is a little too far out. All I have to do is use this arrow key down here to jump to this first keyframe and park it right over that keyframe. Because once I'm there, I can sort of reprogram this position, meaning that I can nudge it forward a little bit using the arrow keys and it'll update the information in this keyframe. So that now we have it pretty much about a letters space between. And if we go over here, it's about a letter space between. That looks good. Okay, cool. That's the easy part. Now what we need to do is we need to create a mask that will reveal this text when the line goes across. So to do that, I'm going to select the text. I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I am going to come down here and I'm actually going to start right on top of the bar right there, the little cursor, and drag this out. And you'll see that we're seeing the text, which means it's not removing it, which is what we want. And so I'm going to come down here to the mask on the reveal level or layer, and I'm going to set it to subtract. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and move the playhead to the, so that it's on the same spot as we made the cursor start to move. And if you're not seeing that, if it's hidden, Go ahead and hit the, select that layer and hit the U key, and that'll show you any keyframes you need to see. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and animate the mask path, because this is the path going around our mask. And so if I come down here and choose mask path, notice first off that it makes all of these corners solid, which means we can move the mask as one solid piece, and we won't deform it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a keyframe for the position of the mask path. Now you notice I've got my first keyframe there and there, so I'm going to go ahead and jump to the final keyframe. And again, use shift and arrows to move this. Now you have to make sure you are on the selection tool and that the layer is selected. Right now we're on the rectangle tool, so let me pop over there. And I'm just going to hold shift and really make sure to line this line up right here with the edge of the cursor. If I leave it there, I'm gonna have some little gaps. So I'm gonna back it up 
And as long as it starts right on top of that cursor and ends right on top of that cursor, you should have a clean animation. Let's look back at it. Doesn't appear to be any gaps between the mask and the line. Cool. So there we have that. Boom. Nice reveal. Easy to make. Once you make a couple of these, they're really it really is quick and easy. Let's go ahead and make that cursor um, pop on and disappear. So I'm going to go back to the shape layer now, which is again is sort of acting as our little wipe line. And I'm going to jump to one second. I'll hit the U for so I can see my keyframes. Make sure I'm right on top. And I'm going to hit scale or S for scale. And I'm going to go ahead and drop a keyframe right there because this is what I want it to look like at one second. And now I'm going to sort of animate backwards. I'm going to pull the key, the uh, playhead back. I'm going to unlock the X and Y constraint. And I am going to shrink the Y value down to zero. And we get a keyframe and a keyframe. And we notice that, boom, there it grows and it wipes. Now here's the cool part. If we want to make this shrink back down and disappear, we don't have to do anything new. We can just copy these keyframes and reverse their order. So again, I hit U just to make sure that I'm over that keyframe there, just to make sure I'm in the right spot. And I'm going to go ahead and select the two scale keyframes, hit Command C to copy them, and then Command V to paste them. Now, the only problem is they're just in the opposite order. They're still set to grow on. So we need to literally just click on them, or click off to deselect them, and then reverse their position. So now, instead of growing up, it will shrink down. And if we watch back, grows, wipes, disappears. Okay? And the only other thing we want to do with these is select all of them, and hit FN F9. And that turns these into easy ease keyframes. Again, I could do the same thing with the reveal. FN F9. And now we have eased keyframes. And just like that, we've created a very fast uh, reveal. And there's no, again, I could drag in an image here. Let's just to show you what's going on. Drag in an image, put it beneath the text, and boom. Now there's no shape layers involved, just text revealing. Okay, that's it.